I actually think it's possible to make this graph of my personality and you could um, relate it to Christmas based on my views on Christmas. So when I was a kid, up until I suppose mid-teens, I loved Christmas. I really wanted Christmas to happen. When I was much smaller, it's the presents and this just sense of this, you could do anything you wanted. Later on, when we'd gone from England back to Nigeria, I loved Christmas because we'd spend it in the village and that's just weeks of fun. And then Christmas kind of disappeared. I became uh, <laughs> old and grinchy and just, it got on my nerves. I began to hate it, the stress that it caused and everything. And so that was one phase. And the final, where I'm at now, which, and I've been in this place for quite a few years, is Christmas happens, there's nothing I can do about it. And so I decided to find things that I enjoy. And the, one of the things, the most enjoyable parts of Christmas for me and I, as I'm about to say this, I'm wondering, well, it is, is, um, the, is Christmas Eve. That is the walking around the city on Christmas Eve and noticing the amount of stress that, uh, man, people get really, really freaked out by this need for something that doesn't really matter. You know, like, supposing you ordered some kind of turkey and that turkey just disappeared you'll still live but the way people behave in on the afternoon of the 24th of december it's fantastic and i would have this way of wandering around i don't do shopping on that day i've learned my lessons <laughs> don't go shopping on such a day so you're free to what having done all the stuff you know all packed and everything you can wander around and listen in on various conversations. Um, the majority are various expressions of disappointment in that somebody had, should have done something earlier or should have planned something earlier or should have ordered it earlier and all that stuff. And so then you have the accusations going back and forth. Yeah, but you, but you, but you, but you. So that's one. There's the disappointment of believing the optimist appearing in some shop, believing product A, B or C will still be there in the size or version uh, that's listed on a, a gift um, a present list, Christmas uh, present list. Get into the shop, thing is gone, they say, sorry, out of stock, no, we'll have it in a month. And then you see them, yeah, but, 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 but I need it because little da, 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 has to have this thing tomorrow, otherwise the world will end, which it won't, but uh, it does feel that way. Um, and of course, it's just a number of bags. It's, it's, it, you realize that people sort of between January and November, we are not really willing to carry many bags except for when we're going on a holiday. However, around Christmas Eve, we, we have this super strength, people with 60 bags, bags on their heads, on their shoulders, bags everywhere, bags in bags, bags on bags, bags behind bags, shopping, 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 stress, stress, stress. And it really is if we completely lose our mind. And so, of course, I chuckle a bit, but at the back of it, I sometimes think, how did we get to this point? Because... Growing up, we were told one thing about Christmas and the meaning of this thing, but now it's just this free for all. Cash has to leave your bank account you know, on, around Christmas and on the 24th, this is your final chance. Even though nowadays shops, at least in Amsterdam, some shops are open on Christmas Day. But generally speaking, the 24th is your final opportunity to spend that cash and make sure the right people are happy. That's Christmas Eve for you.